guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a beauty haul for you guys and I just picked up a few things when I went to Oxford Street in London the other day and I got a bit carried away and yeah so I thought I would share it with you guys because I absolutely love beauty hauls are like my one of, they're like one of my favorite videos to watch so I hope you guys will like this one and I have all my stuff in this Kat Von D bag Oh my god, I'm so excited. So the first thing that I really want to talk about is uh, this powder that I got from Kat Von D. And um, they have a Kat Von D stand in the Debenhams on Oxford Street. So um, I went in there and I met, actually I met, I met one of my subscribers. Her name is Khadija. So hi Khadija if you're watching. It was really nice to meet you. Oh my god, she was so nice. Um, but yeah, we both actually picked up one of these and we like had a nice chat and everything. Um, we tried the, I, I tried the concealers, but I couldn't find like the right shade, but I was kind of rushed as well and there was a lot of people so I wasn't really into it, but I do want to get it. I'm just, I have an idea of what my shade is, so I'll probably write, like buy it online. I think I'm like D29, or D, no D27 I believe. This is the Locket Setting Powder, um, and it, it's translucent so, it's not even setting. Oh yeah, it says setting powder. And then in the back says translucent loose powder. Gosh, look at these oily roots, man. Oh, I just can't bold my hair at the moment. Um, so yeah, I actually got this for twenty pounds, and it's a big tub. I'm, um, I saw it online, and I wasn't too sure. But then I saw a video by Iris. Iris, uh, I'll link her video in the info box, but she compared the Laura Mercier one to this one and she said it's kind of the same, but this one is £20 and the other, the Laura Mercier one is really, I believe, £26 to £29. I probably will try it one day, but I got this one because it's cheaper and you get so much in here. Like, it's just a massive tub and it doesn't really have like a tint to it. It's just very white and um, it has a bit of shimmer in it. Like. You can barely see it, but I do like I bake with it under my eyes, and I've been loving it. Like it, it looks really bright. Like it brightens and it looks smooth, and it doesn't go ashy on me, even though I'm a, like darker skin tone. So I think this will go on well on anyone, any skin tone. So this will definitely be one of my things that I will keep in my kit to use on other people as well. Um, and it comes like with a little dispenser thingy. It's not that messy to me, but I absolutely love this. I definitely recommend it, um, but yeah. And then the rest um, is actually some things that I bought from Boots. Uh, a lot of it is NYX products, but just a few random things. I did get some sponges. These are really good for Halloween tutorials. They're like a pound or something and you get like four. Um, and they work really well for like Halloween tutorials. I use this with my uh, Kat Von D loose setting powder to set my under eyes and bake with it. It's so good. So I picked up a few of these. I also got another Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. My beauty blender is dying out on me a bit now, so I had to get like a new sponge. And I didn't want to like buy another beauty blender for now, so I just got this one, and it's a great dupe for the beauty blender. So yeah, definitely love this. So from NYX, I picked up three Vivid Brights eyeliners. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is Vivid Fire, then there's Vivid Petal, and then there's Vivid Halo. Halo is the yellow one. This is like the baby pink one, which is Petal, and then Fire is like a bright red. Uh, I use this in my Sugar Skull video. If you haven't checked that video out, click here if you want to watch that video. <clears throat> these are like so pigmented and very affordable and I'm gonna have so much fun with these. I um, actually need to take it out of their packaging right now. Let me swatch them for you guys as well. So these are the colours. This is what they look like on my hand and as you can tell that's just like with one swipe that they're super pigmented. I believe like they were £5 each I think or £5.50 but it was such a bargain and I know I'm just gonna have fun with these. I then picked up this Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. And it comes in a big box like this. And I found this quite nice. Like I tried it in store on my hand and the shade looked really nice and I've already tried it. It's actually really nice. Um, so it comes with a, so it comes with a highlight shade and then a darker shade. But these are the colors. Like they're perfect for my skin tone. And this is the shade 
MHN20W. Oh, it's cinnamon and then there's peach. So this is the peach shade and then this is cinnamon. I then got a concealer and I've been wanting to try this for so long. This is the NYX HD Concealer in Tan 07. Let me swatch it for you guys. I haven't even bothered to take the packaging off properly. It is on a, a bit on the darker side for me. I will probably have to like, this is the color. This is the tube. I mean, it looks good, but it's not like brightening enough, but the other one, the one below this was too bright. So I probably will conceal with this and then pop a lighter concealer on top. Um, or maybe get the lighter one and then mix it too, I don't know. But I haven't tried it yet, but I've seen it on other people and it looks amazing. So I can't wait to try this. I then got the NYX setting powder in banana. Anything that says banana on it, I just love it. So this is what the powder looks like. It's like a bright white colour, but it has a hint of yellow in it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of scared that it would look too powdery on me. But I don't know, we'll see. It's that right there. So my camera did run out of battery, so I had to go wait and charge for it. So um, I was talking about the NYX lingerie, I would say liquid lipstick. Um, I got the shade Teddy. This is what it looks like. I forgot to take, I can't, I can't be bothered to take the plastic packaging, it's like so much hassle to take off. But right now I have Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Spice Girl and it's actually very similar. I would definitely say it's kind of like a dupe. Teddy and that's Huda Beauty Spice Girl, they're very similar. Now I haven't tried this on my lips yet but I'll let you guys know how it feels and if it is good quality or not. I have heard a lot of people say that it's really good so definitely looking forward to try this one. And then the last and final thing that I got is the Soap and Glory 2-in-1 Brow Filling Pencil and Brush. I believe this is like the brow archery pencil that everyone raves about, raves about, but it's actually really good. Well, I haven't tried it on my brows, but I swatched it and it looks really good. I, the reason why I took so long in getting this is because none of the stores around me had the, my shade. They always had the blondie one or brownie, and brownie was too light. Um, so in Oxford Street, the boots in Oxford Street is a big one, so they definitely had dark chocolate um but yeah and it's actually it looks very similar to the anastasia brow is it has like the product on one end and the product comes out very thin so i love that and it comes with a spoolie like it's just it looks like it's really good quality that's what it looks like Anyways, that's it for my makeup haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.